Hello everybody, welcome back. I am Akshita from 3rd year pharmacy student at TVM College of Pharmacy, Ballari. Many of you may have question in your mind about what all other things are essential before entering into pharmacy and what other things you have to be prepared for. And of course, how you can make your college life very smooth. About these all the things, I am going to talk in this video. Without any further ado, let's start. First and foremost thing you should know is, there is no spoon feeding in the pharmacy. You may have received uh, ready-made study materials in your school days or uh, in PU level but this is not going to happen in the degree life. Because once you enter into degree life, only you have to prepare your own notes by referring any reference books. And uh, you have to study quite a lot. And keep in your mind that it does not end at 6 years. Because as we are pharmacists, we have to keep updating our knowledge each and every day about the new drugs that has been arrived to market and its mechanism of action, its contraindications, its therapeutic use and its areas, everything. Second thing is the sessions or the internals. One must be aware of the uh, internals and its benefits in our academic year because at starting some of you may think like it might be like monthly test which we have written in school days and PUC level but here it's not like that. We usually have the internals for 30 marks and it will be calculated as average marks in our annual exam. We have totally three internals in a uh, year and in each subject we will be having three, three internals. So out of which uh, two is, best of two is selected. For example, in first internals you got 25 and in second internal 27 and in third internal 28. So out of these, uh, best of two that is the second and third internals is selected and average marks will be allotted. Third thing is the attendance. Some of you may think like our digital life has been started so we can enjoy, we can bunk the classes so and so. So it, these are not going to happen in the family college because we should have at least 75% attendance for attending um, annual exams and for internal as well. At last we will talk about the things to purchase. Of course, uh, Abron and the stethoscope. Uh, stethoscope is usually not required in the first year. During our internship and in the fifth year, uh, we definitely require the stethoscope. And next coming to the lab requirements like RBC, WBC, hemoglobin pipettes, and butter papers, stick papers, labeling sheet. I think uh, no need of mentioning here because these things will definitely inform by your lecturers in the college. Next thing to purchase is the smartphone. A smartphone is definitely uh, necessary. Because as I said earlier, we should keep updating our knowledge each and every day. So through uh, internet, we can know the uh, drug that has been arrived market, its mechanism of action, its contraindications and drug drug interactions and everything. So smartphone is uh, really, really necessary. And next, laptop. Uh, in second year, from second year family, we have to prepare a case presentation. We should present a case. Uh, which we will be uh, dealing in the uh, ward rooms or in the hospital. Hope so this video is useful to you all. Meet you all in the next video. Until then, bye bye.